Good afternoon, October 2nd, 2020. Doing an oil change on a 2017 Chevrolet 3500 HD. This has the six liter Vortec engine in it. I'll be using a EMS oil EA15K50 oil filter as well as Emsil Signature Series 5W30 engine oil. I've had it running, getting it warmed up a little bit, and I'm going to come down here and drain the fluid. Kind of like. Chevy design down here. You can see right there that bolt sticking out the side there is the drain. And the filter is just above that. So get the pan position there. 15 millimeter. Set up, get draining. how far this will shoot out on this side here. Too bad. a little bit tighter than it probably needed to be, but let that drain a little bit. Of 
course the wind here is picking up a little bit. You, can, you might be able to hear it howl on some. Won't be long. Now I will have my shock up functional. This is the uh, contractor that I had got with to do the excavation and the uh, concrete for my shop. So the foundation and the pad. Right now, where we sit with the, the shop, which you may or may not hear about before this video comes out, is uh, we've got the metal works up. We've got the back wall up and sheathed. Yesterday we picked up our, or had our uh, order and our siding had that delivered, and I need to take care of this job today, and uh, we'll get back to work on the shop tomorrow. So this is a. Dream a lug that has a rubber gasket on it. it. Looks okay. Looking up the uh, oil filter mount. Looks like the gasket came off fine. It doesn't look like there's anything there, but oil flowing still so we'll let this drain for several minutes and uh, we'll come back to it all right so over here at the filter it's finished dripping so we'll go ahead and get the new filter put up and in down looks good so the new uh, design of the Amzoa filters it's got a rubberized type grip on it which is nice Did fill the filter with oil. Okay. So we got the wrench off the old filter. Snug this up. Eighteen foot pounds is what that goes to. And we are done under here for now. We do the transmission next. That'll be another video. Thanks for watching.
Okay, so we're going to be adding six quarts of single series 5W30. Now that we've got the uh, oil drain, new filter on. Checking the fluid, fluid level. Because again, you don't want to uh, overfill it. up to three dots one two three out of four dots in the hatch so what I will do is put the cap on start it let run for a minute or so and then we'll uh, stop it let it rest and check the fluid level again because that's showing right in the uh, hatch. So.
That's right there in the hash marks. So what we'll do is we'll leave that set while we move on to the next step, which on this truck we are also going to do the transmission, fluid and filter, and do coolant as well. So I'm going to move on to the uh, transmission here and uh, get that done.